Welcome! It's a great day to be a miner. This beautiful thing is the Bitaxe Gamma, and today we're going to show you how to update the firmware, we're going to update the website GUI, and we're going to show you some tips and tricks. But before we do, let's spin that intro. All right, here it is, the Bitaxe Gamma. And in a previous video, we did a full unboxing setup and review. Check that out above. Um, then we did a follow-up video where we updated the cooler. This thing was overheating um, it, on stock settings. It just wasn't handling the heat with this nice little stock cooler that came with it on the stock clocks and stock voltage. So we had to mod it and we heavily modded it. We put this overkill giant argon thermal uh, cooler tower on there. And if you need to know how to do that, check out the video up above. Once that was finally completed, we decided, you know what? Let's go ahead and overclock this thing. So we overclocked it as much as we could overclock it. We did some thorough nerdy number in-depth testing to just see how far we could push this thing. And uh, of course, check out that video. Um, yeah, so we got this thing all humming along and then I realized, you know what? We should just do a really quick video and show everyone how to actually update the firmware on this, on this or this bid axe or any of the bid axe variants. It's really pretty simple process, but if you don't know how to do it, you might be wondering. So we'll show you how to update the firmware on these guys. We'll show you how to update the website to have the more updated version, the newer black and red version compared to the blue. Um, so we'll get that, show you how to do that. We'll show you a couple of tips and tricks while we're in AxOS and, the, and that should about wrap it up. So let's go hop over into our remote session and check it all out. Let's go. All right, so here we are, we're over in AxOS and this device is not actually the Bitax Gamma and you can tell by the hash rate of the 667. This is actually the Bitax Supra. And the reason I've got it up is I wanted to show you the old website and then I wanna show you the newer updated website, which we already did with the Gamma. And then we'll go through the whole steps on how to find what firmware you're on and how to update it. So first and foremost, again, this is the uh, Supra and it's doing the Supra 401 and it's doing 640 giga hash second um, and then let's pop over and look at the difference on the website for the gamma let's get me out of the way here okay so now that I'm out of the way let's switch to the uh, new updated web GUI and show you what it looks like so the main key difference that I really enjoy about the new website is right here they have a dotted line that shows your average hash rate that runs across entirely so it's actually getting your hash rate, your average hash rate, and your ASIC temperatures all in one convenient graph right there. Um, and we can take a comparison to the previous view where it only had your hash rate. So you don't have your ASIC temperatures or your average on there. You just literally have a pinpoint point of every hash rate instance. So then you could kind of visualize and tell and say okay so i'm running right around 650 uh average on this one and that's just a guesstimate because you don't have it averaging like it is with the new os so this looks way better in my opinion than this so another couple items is you have your performance items down at the bottom here and they are kind of more like a graph. And then if you go to the newer one, you they have moved to a bar graph layout for these guys. So there you have your power input. It's the same items measured. However, they're in a bar graph and I kind of like the bar graph too. So I feel like the new uh, website GUI is way sleeker than the previous. So now let's go into how to update the web GUI and the firmware. First, you, if you wanna know what firmware you're on, you would go to your logs button up here. And then once you click on logs, you're gonna get some key information. It's gonna show you your model, your uptime, your Wi-Fi status, the MAC address of the uh, device, which will blur that out. It'll show you the version. The version is what uh, firmware version you're on. So in this instance, I'm on 4.2.3.1b1, and that's the newest, latest, greatest, um, just released uh, a week ago. And then it shows your board version. This is the 601, and that's the 601 gamma. Um, so then 
the other side, if we look at the older OS, it's the same thing. We go to logs and it's gonna show us the same information. Um, in this one, our board version is 401 and our, our actual firmware version has been updated on this one. I did update the firmware to the newest, latest, greatest. However, I did not uh, update the website yet. Okay, there's a couple different ways you can update your firmware. Number one is you, once you're in your settings, you go down to your current version and you hit latest release and you'll hit check. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna go out there and look and look at this. It's only been a week and they already have a new version. So why not? Let's update to the newest version. And then we're going to hit, so right here, there is a minor.bin and a www.bin. The www is your website. The esp-minor.bin is your firmware. So if we wanna update these, we're just gonna click the link here. Is This is one way to get to it. Up in the top, it downloaded. And then a lot of times the browser will block it. I'm using Chrome, it's trying to block it. I'm going to want to hit keep the file. It's gonna say insecure download block. I'm gonna hit keep. And then it finished the download into whatever your respective download folder. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the www.ben. I'm gonna download the latest, greatest Ben. Again, same thing, it said insecure download, I'm gonna keep it. So now both of those files have been downloaded and they are in my downloads folder. Now we need to go and actually apply them. We're going to go to the update firmware first. We're gonna hit, see, and it says right here, esp-minor.ben we're gonna browse we're gonna go get it it shows right away www.ben that's the newest website and esp-minor we are doing the firmware so we're gonna get espn esp-minor.ben and here's a, a keynote if you try to grab a the wrong one it won't let you so if i try to put fir the website into the firmware it's gonna say no right down here at the bottom error incorrect file and then it says looking for ESPN, ESP-minor-bin. So let's go back and and then it, it kind of gets stuck there. So we gotta switch tabs. If you do that, it'll, uh, it'll keep trying to upload that. So go back to your dashboard, go back to your settings. And now again, browse, go get that new ESP-minor-bin and then apply it. It's gonna say working. It's gonna take a few seconds. It's gonna go through the whole process. It's gonna install it. Once it's done installing, we need to do a restart just to look and see. And then we're gonna do restart over here. And then it's gonna say restart success. It's gonna actually reboot your device. It's gonna take a few seconds to spool back up and then make sure that it starts hashing away again. Now we're on the latest greatest 2.4 version. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the website. We've already updated or downloaded it. So now, we're going to hit browse and we're going to grab the bin and now it says working again and then it's going to update the website i have noticed that the web gui did not update my first time when i tried to switch from the older blue which i believe was like a 2.2 uh, version um, to the, um, well, rather the website version. When I tried to switch, when I had the 2.2 version on the website, I tried to update and it would not actually change to this red and black view. So if your, so if your website doesn't actually update when you apply it and say it's still the blue or just hasn't updated and added the average hash rate and whatnot, just go and manually pull the power plug cable out of your device plug it back in, give it some time, let it spool back up, then go back into your website, back into your local IP, and it'll pull back in. So there, there is there is how you update both the firmware and the website for um, the, the first method. The second method, so if you go over to here to Bitcoin Merch, you go to the Bitax Gamma, um, and then you scroll down, you'll see my man here where he's showing his tutorial. He keeps scrolling down, click that how to set up Bitax Gamma link. And then it'll come into the tutorial, which I'll put a link down in the description. Um, and it's showing the initial setup. But if you scroll to the bottom, it'll say upgrading the firmware. And this is the GitHub. This is the official GitHub where you can find these files. 
So we're going to go to here, and I'll make sure to link the official GitHub as well. Here is the newest, latest, greatest 2.4, and then it tells you all the changes that they've added down through here, fixed temp, uh, five volt marker, da da da. So yeah, and then scroll on down to the bottom and make sure that you're, if you're manually doing it this way, make sure you're getting the right version. So this is the 601 and we're gonna do rather the ESP dash minor dash bin. This is the guy that we're getting right here. And here is the www.bin files. These two files are what you need to update your device. So right there and right there. Um, yeah, this is the manual way to go get those files. All there is to updating that. Real quick, we'll go back down through these settings. It shows our Stratum URL, our Stratum port. We did a full setup, so if you need to figure out how to do the full setup, go check that out. Some other key settings in here that we may have just brushed up, uh, through are the um, automatic fan control. If you want to set a static fan um, if you have a stock cooler on there and that thing is overheating, you might want to just crank that thing up turn off the automatic, set the fan speed manually, save it, restart it. Every time you change one of these settings, the frequency, the core voltage, any of these checkboxes, you need to save and you need to restart. But if you're overheating and you're running stock cooler, I advise to uh, put a static fan on there and crank that thing up. That'll keep you at least from overheating. Um, also, here is where you would change your overclocks. The two main items, you just change your frequency and your core voltage as you move your frequency up. You obviously usually have to move the core voltage up because it'll starve it out. So you want to move your frequency as high as you can and have your core voltage as low as you can to have it still completely stable. But those are your main overclocking items. But yeah, that is basically it. That is all there is to updating the firmware and the website. and. I actually had some troubles with this right at first, and I had to search for it, so I figure I'll share it to you, make it easy peasy, and that should do it. Let's go close out. Let's go. All right, so there you go. We've got the website all updated. The GUI is nice and pretty. We've got the average hash rate showing now, so that's an awesome thing to have. And usually you want to update your firmware periodically because you could be missing out on additional hash rate or better stability, better options, better displays. Just a whole gamma of things that are constantly being approved so yeah update your stuff keep it rolling keep it going so before we wrap and close everything out again you're also probably wondering why this guy is sitting here and this guy is going to be part of our giveaway it's one of many many items that we're going to be giving away so stay tuned for all the details on that and i think that about closes it out if you have any questions or concerns make sure to comment down below reach out say hey altered i need help with whatever i'd be happy to help you so if you're new to mine and you need some help make sure to join the misfit mining discord always plenty of seasoned vets in there willing to help you out and if you like the video you know what to do smash that like button and subscribe for future content thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride Pssh.